how do I make money? Well, a lot of people have been asking me that lately and I want to do uh, kind of address that question as I have been working uh, between the two new studios and starting to grow a little bit here on YouTube. And I kind of want to go over a channel or, or create a playlist on a few of the ways that I generate revenue that is really unusual. And I'm really excited uh, to kind of share with you how I got my start and then what I've done to really build a lifestyle where I can do these YouTube videos and have fun. So let's get into this a little bit. Well, my name's JB Glossinger in case uh, you don't know who I am, and I started this channel years ago, 12, 13 years ago, and called it Morning Coach because my primary business is what's called MorningCoach.com. And what it is is basically a podcast, but it's just not any podcast, okay? Back in 2005, at the end of 2005, I'd written a book called Get Out of Neutral. Um, I went out to sell that book, I quit my job, uh, had a disaster really. Nobody bought the book, nobody, nobody uh, helped me. It was really, really bad. And I'm not gonna give you the van down by the river story, I'm not here to be Chris Farley, but I'm here to tell you that it was a very challenging few years until a friend of mine said, JB, why don't you start putting out an audio message every single day? And I was like, well, how would I even do that? So I found a website called freeconferencecall.com. Now remember, this is 2005. And basically what I did was I started doing this call every morning. I used to do it at 6.30 in the morning and 10.30 in the morning, and people would call in. And where did I get the people? Well, I went out and I bought a book on how to build a website in 24 hours, and I built a, got a program called Dreamweaver. I actually had to pirate it because I had no money back then. And what I did was I downloaded that software and I built a website and basically it was a landing page. And I think it was one of the first landing pages on the internet that actually got an email. And what the page said was morningcoach.com and I got the morningcoach.com website and then it had put in your email and I would send you the link to the conference call. So all of a sudden people started listening as I went on MySpace. We used to call it spam space back then. And I would, I would put these little, little blurbs on people's you know, uh, profiles and said, hey, come check out morningcoach.com if you want some great energy. And what happened from the 2005 to 2000, early 2006 time period, actually the end of 2005, is people were getting on the call. And this is a true story. I didn't know how to mute the lines. And so in the background of these live calls, every once in a while you would hear a stream, a clink, and then a flush. And people were sending me emails going, JB, somebody is going into the bathroom. Is that you? And I'm like, no, it wasn't me. And so then I learned how to mute the lines, but then people started listening every day. And then the lines started crashing. Now I wasn't making money at this time back in 2005, 2006. It was tough, right? But the lines were crashing. And so people were sending me emails. And, and like I said, I wasn't making money. So I had to figure out a way to get this message out without the lines crashing. So I reached out to freeconferencecall.com to see how much it would cost and the bridge lines are expensive once you get over 100 people. And so then I started searching for what was I gonna do? And as I started searching, there was this little thing called podcasting, just getting started. Podcasting, I'm like, what is this? And it was like, well, you take this audio file, you put it up on the internet, and then it streamed out to iPods. And I don't even remember those, but they used to have iPods back in 2005, 2006. And so what I started doing was recording the conference call and I would do, put my phone up to the ear and the microphone and I had a little laptop, Sony laptop, and I used to try to record it. And those first episodes that I put up on iTunes literally had no in, uh, front part or any in part. It was just me talking and doing my show. And then something crazy happened. So I did this for a whole year. Wasn't making much money, wasn't selling many books. But at the end of 2006, I believe it was, it's so long ago, my podcast, Morning Coach, got featured on iTunes. And when it got featured, it went to top 25 in the world. And I went from like 400, 500 listeners to 40,000. My podcast was one of the biggest podcasts in the world in 2006, 2007, 2008. It's pretty crazy to think about that. But here's the deal, I was still broke. I wasn't making money, so how did I get to start making money? Well, back in 2009, uh, my dog passed away, chaos. I loved him to death, and I decided that it was time to make a change. And so I developed a, 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 a website, and we actually had a membership site built out of HTML, then Joomla, all those years ago. 
And in 2009, we had 12,000 people in a membership site. Again, I think one of the first membership sites on the web. But what we did was I said, look, here's the deal. I can't do this for free anymore. If somebody wants to pay, please pay. And so we went to a paid subscription model. And that paid subscription model, when we launched in 2009, brought 1,000 231 people out of that 12,000 people. Now, I was upset with that number. I thought, oh my gosh, I can't believe all 12,000 didn't come. I have negative reviews. If you go look on iTunes on Morning Coach, you will see them, 51 of them. People hated me. So how could you charge? This is a podcast, it's supposed to be free. I can't believe uh, that you would do this to me. I mean, it was a disaster. I literally cried that day because of the hate that I got. But it was at that point that I realized how to make money on the internet. And that is to love the one you're with. Love the people that came with you. So it wasn't about those, you know, 90% of the people that didn't come with me. It was about the 1,231 that did. So how do I make money? So well, since 2009, I have had one subscription site called morningcoach.com. I've built courses. I've done almost 3,950 podcasts, almost 4,000 daily podcasts. I've been doing them every day. People pay $30 a month, less than a cup of coffee, but that's what they pay to get the coach cast. And I do that every single day. That's what allows me to play golf, allows me to do what I want and really have a, just a wonderful lifestyle and do the things that I want. I've now evolved into having masterminds and obviously coaching. I've written books. I'm very honored to say I was paid uh, by Hay House to publish my last book, which was amazing to have a real publisher. As you heard, the first book was self-published. Um, and so it was really great to get that, really the fourth book that I wrote uh, as a professional writer. And so many great things have happened because of podcasting. So as I get into this and teach you more and more as we get into the YouTube channel and I teach you about tech and, and more of this stuff, I want you to realize that the original reason I did it was for money. Like I needed to generate revenue, but it was also to help people. And I had a really good thing with Morning Coach, 15 minutes a day of great energy and it solved the problem. Now, I have to tell you, when I go speak, I spoke at Harvard about six months ago. It was great uh, to go up there on communications. When I go speak, a lot of people come up to me afterwards and they'll say, hey, will you listen to my podcast? Back in the day, I had to teach people what a podcast was and how to put it in a podcast player. And that's why it was so easy to rank. It's hard now. I heard there's 50 to 60,000 new podcasts uh, being developed every month. So the the... the Ability to get out there has been more challenging and plus there's major media. Back in the day, why I went subscription in 2009 is nobody was advertising. I mean, literally people offered me 250 to $300 uh, to, to a month uh, to advertise on my show. And I just said, I'm not gonna advertise. And I've never advertised on my show. I think I've had a couple people put try a couple things, but I've never done it. I like the message to be uh, clean and free. Uh, I like to build individual relationships with people. I realize that things take time. I've been through the failure cycle in making money and on the internet. So as I get into this, I would love to know, do you like this type of comment, uh, content? Can't spit that out there. Would you like to know more of how I've been able to do this and build a really amazing lifestyle? Now having fun on YouTube, 7,000 plus subscribers. When I look at this later, we're getting about 50 a day. Uh, we're gonna get to 10,000 soon and that's because of you, I appreciate you. But my, my goal in life, it really is, is to help the consciousness of the planet, but even more so than that aspect, which is a really deep purpose, is to help you, to inspire you to stick with it when things aren't working. If you wanna be a gamer and, and do that kind of thing, it takes years, just stick with it. It took me 12 years before I monetized on YouTube. Do you wanna do YouTube? It takes years. Are you willing to put in effort? Podcasting from 2005, the end, basically before that, as I started building my list, to 2009, I made no money. So if you think about that, 2005, six, seven, four years, most people would have gave up a long time ago, right? So what I wanna do is inspire you to stick with it, to not give up. Success leaves clues. You might not be able to hit the home run right away, and everybody's trying to, but if you stick with it and you keep building and you're really smart about it, eventually you can live that wonderful life. And, and boy, I gotta tell you, I'm having fun. This channel is about tech. I'm gonna start doing some stuff on some of the unique ways. The podcast and the residual 
is only one of the ways to make money. I'm very fortunate to now have places in South America. Um, my wife is from uh, South America, so we have places all over in Colombia. Uh, as you can see, sometimes behind me, I have a lot of Colombian gear. And because of COVID, I'm not able to travel down there, but I'm gonna start doing some videos from our place uh, in, in Bogota and then Ibagué. Um, it's just been, a, I've been very blessed to meet so many wonderful people and have uh, my membership sites had over 10,000 people be members over the years. Uh, I've been very blessed to have wonderful people in my life who I've shared my energy with. I've been able to meet so many people and then take up this game of golf. Uh, I just, just recently, last weekend, got my black belt after 14 years in Israeli blood, in Israeli uh, blade uh, idea, blade techniques. Uh, very excited about that. But everything is a progression. I'm a, uh, it's called the Israeli blade artist is what it is. But it's, everything is a progression and it takes time. It took 14 years for that. It took 12 years um, to do this uh, uh, YouTube channel. It took years, four years before my podcast took off in a really kind of virgin market before it really, really was growing. So are you willing to, to put in the time? Are you willing to invest? I've invested in masterminds. I've invested in courses. Uh, you know, I've learned from some of the best. And at the end of the day, just being real and authentic is what served me, just like doing this video and sharing my story, my journey, because I want to inspire you to really take the next step, to really understand that you can get there. And hopefully, you know, working with me, watching my content, liking videos, you know, putting some stuff in the comment, I would love to, you know, you know shrink that journey. Instead of four years, make it two. Instead of 12, make it six, right? But we're all on our own path and hopefully, you know, I inspire you to do more things by talking about some of the ways that I've created lifestyle and how I make money. And so this one's about podcasting. Podcasting has been very, very, very good to me. Uh, I still do it. I do Monday for free. The rest of the week is paid. And it's, I do it different than most people. Most people don't have a subscription uh, website. And most people do podcasts for free and try to do the sponsorship model. I just don't do that. It's very challenging. I would rather work uh, on an individual basis, provide the coaching and the energy that I do, and have a paid system for my courses and my coach casts and all those things. I actually launched a social media this month uh, called MC Purpose, uh, which is an all positive social media. So I have a lot of things going on, a lot of things to share, and I hope you're enjoying the content on this channel. If you are, hit that like button and then put in the comments and tell me, I would like to hear more. I did a video on how I write books a little bit earlier, and I don't mind sharing with you uh, some of these ideas because I have fun with it. As long as there are views and there's likes and there's comments and engagement, I'll do it. But I'm not gonna waste my time like anything else. If people don't want the content, I won't do it. But I'm here because I wanna help and I'm having a blast. And if anything, you're gonna get energy out of this channel and hopefully that idea and that inspiration uh, to go after it and make it happen. And plus some cool tech stuff. We gotta have our tech stuff. We're having fun with that. So thanks for watching as always. Go out there, have a great one. And I got more videos coming, a lot of tech reviews coming. I promise, we got the new studio built and I'm gonna keep it rocking. So thanks so much, go have a great day. Until the next one, I'll see you out there.